Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for the list for February where I talk about items that I've hauled, items I've rediscovered in my collection, and finally, things that I've revisited. I know many of you are anxious to find out what happened with the Charlotte Tilbury item, the Brightening Youth Glow that I started using about seven to eight weeks ago. I have a before and after that I wanna show you and give you my thoughts on some of the claims that it's made based on the time that I've been using it and my experience with it. I have been using it with fidelity every day, except I think there was one day I was trying a new primer, the Tatcha one, and that's it. Otherwise, I have been using it every day. But I also made a purchase from Neiman Marcus because they had a promotion, 25% off $200 of your beauty purchase, which is rare because beauty products don't usually have that applied to them, or somewhere like Sephora only has their promotion a couple times a year. So I took advantage of it and purchased some items that I normally wouldn't buy altogether, but since there was a promotion, I bought them. Let's go ahead and start with those. I purchased the Tom Ford Ultra Shine Lip Color in Nubile, number three. Really gorgeous color. I'm gonna feature this on a video on Monday. There it is. I have so many products this month that I wanna make sure you see in a timely manner, so I'm going to try to post two videos a week. So Thursday as usual, and then if I have an extra run, I'll post one Monday in this case. I have one ready to go for Monday for this one. Spoiler alert, this is great if you're interested in this product. I'll do a demo and a quick little initial review. I have used it a couple of times already. I post on Instagram and in Instagram stories when I receive these purchases in the mail or if I go to the store and purchase them, I will go ahead and include them in the store so you can see those right away. So if you wanna stay up to date on what I'm purchasing as I'm purchasing them, you can follow me on Instagram at everydayeditxo. By the way, the Ultra Shine lip colors are new to Tom Ford. I purchased another item from Tom Ford, the limited edition shade and illuminate palette. It's still in the mail, it's on its way right now. So hopefully I will get it in before I post this video and insert the clip of what that looks like. I will be featuring that in its own video as well. Staying on that high-end bandwagon, I picked up the Clay de Peau Concealer. Interesting, as I was researching some concealers, I was thinking how great would it be if they had SPF in them? And this does it, it has SPF 25 and it's in the color Honey. I'm testing this out right now. I really like the consistency. It seems to be able to keep its integrity throughout the day, which is impressive. Again, I love that there's SPF in there. Shantikai is up next. It is the Radiance Gel Bronzer. This is one of those things that I think, why did I not use this before? It's pretty amazing. I can show you how I use it if you'd like in a video. We're headed to a beach vacation very soon and this is definitely going with me on that. I don't wear makeup on the beach, but I will wear makeup after beach and for the evenings. And this is the travel size. That's why I got the smaller one. There is a larger size that I think is definitely worth it. Next up is this Giorgio Armani eye tint. I've never used these before, but this is a limited edition color. It's called Navy Lights. Really pretty. Something I'll be taking with me on that beach vacation. I posted on my Instagram story that I had already washed my face by the time this arrived in the mail but I tried it anyway. <laughs> and I think it is so pretty. I tried it the next day, I layered it with a couple of things. I'll be doing a tutorial on this and the other limited edition color, Armani Cruise, which I will be inserting a picture of here because that doesn't arrive till tomorrow. I think those two colors together will be really beautiful. I think that's all I purchased from the Neiman Marcus promotion. So look for those smaller videos throughout this month that'll feature those items so you can see how they work and why I like them so much. This is the Brightening Youth Glow. I'm revisiting this. It's about halfway done. I've been using it since I got it. I first purchased it immediately after I saw it pop up on Charlotte Tilbury's Instagram. If you ever wanna see what's coming up from makeup companies, they usually give you a little hint of what's happening or give you information right as it's released or sometimes things are released in different places at different times. So the more you follow them on something like Instagram, that's the only thing I follow, then I know a little bit ahead of time before things are happening. Gosh, I've been using this since the beginning of January, so we're about seven to eight weeks in. I've been using it every day with fidelity, except for one day when I use just the Tasha primer to film that video. Otherwise, I have been using this. I know I asked them if you apply this under or over SPF, and they said over SPF, but this is how I've been doing it because I don't wanna miss out on any of the benefits of the skincare. So I put all of my moisturizers on, and then I apply one layer of this. I apply one layer of the Color Science Even Up SPF 50. Then I apply another layer of this, so that way it's kind of sandwiching the SPF. I get the benefits right on my skin and then also the more superficial benefits on top of it as a primer. Hope that helps. 
So I have been using this. I'm going to show you a clip now of before and after, and you can see the change is very, very subtle. I was looking for a difference in the tone of my skin, wasn't more even, were dark spots less intense, and I can't say there's anything hugely noticeable. It is very subtle. I have been using it, like I said, every day, so the change for me will be very gradual over time and more difficult for me to see than maybe you, but the side-by-side -side hopefully helps. One thing I can't say is it has not gotten worse. So that's one thing. I mean, if they'd gotten worse, then we would have a problem, but it didn't get any worse. So that may have helped keep it from getting more intense than it already is. I'm also going to show you what this looks like all over my face because I only applied it to half my face in the demo. So now you can see what it looks like all over the face. You can see it definitely improves the overall evenness of my skin but it doesn't totally perfect it, but it never claimed to do that anyway, so I don't think we can expect it to perfect it, but you do see an improvement. For luminosity, I think it's luminous because of the light reflecting, the light diffusing properties in here. Pores and blemishes are instantly blurred. You get that with the light as well. Visible improvement in discoloration age spots. Now, again, I think you see all of these filter effects because of the light, the way it bounces off the particles, the pearlescent particles in there. The long-term claims of helping with discoloration, I tried to even out the lighting as much as I possibly could and the tone on both of the split shots so you could see, and it's very minor. So I wouldn't count on this to do anything amazing for your skin if you're trying to even it out, but it doesn't make it worse. So I will use it until it's gone. I don't know if I would repurchase it. You know when I'll really know if this doesn't work is if I don't repurchase it and it gets worse. That's when I will truly, truly know. But I'll use it up and then see what happens. I would however purchase this primer which I featured last week. I'm using them together. So like I said, it was this, then sunscreen, then this, and then this. So I put this as the final primer right in the middle of my face here and it has been working really well. So in combination, beautiful. This though is something I would definitely repurchase. Then another Hourglass product, they came out with the Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. It's out of the Glossier, so I thought I'd try this in dark brunette. Wasn't quite sure of the color, but this one is really beautiful. It said warm, I think, but I like an ashier color when it comes to brows because I don't want it to look too warm. Here it is. It's the perfect color and what they did with this brush. Hourglass always pays a lot of attention to their products and purpose to what they're doing and I appreciate that because you can tell in this brush it's two-sided. You've got longer bristles on one side and shorter bristles on the other and this brush does something I haven't seen another brow product do that I've tried. It really separates and enhances each brow hair so it looks like you have more and they're also really defined. I like that about it. No crunchiness. Again I think this is worth a feature in its own video. So I will be doing that. I also picked up a limited edition NARS lip cover color in Under Arrest. The warm color really drew me to it. It's almost a little too orange though, so I will mix it with the number 23 YSL Tatouage Couture item that I talked about. It almost looks like a color corrector. Really beautiful. I will show this to you in a tutorial. Let me figure out how I can throw that in there. But Next up is this frame by Ray Morris. If you're not familiar with Ray Morris brushes, they have a magnet on the end, and that's made to go here. So instead of storing your brushes like this in a mug or a cup or a jar, you store them like this. And to me, I don't store my brushes like this anyway because I don't like the dust to land on them. So I figure if you put it in here, you have this protecting your brushes from the dust, and the dust should fall next to the brushes instead of on them. At least that's my theory. I also have some of her face brushes and there are magnets on the bottom of this holder. I think I had to buy the holder separately. So I do house it down there as well. Excuse my dirty brushes. I've been using them, so I will be doing a brush video in the near future and tell you all about these, but these are just the ones that I have, not just. It's taken me a while to collect these because they are not inexpensive. These are among my favorite brushes and this is probably my favorite because it's so unique. You add contour on the end here, a powder contour, and then you place it here and you swipe it 
and it disperses that contour. It's really innovative and really easy to use. So that's why I love her products. They make so much sense. There's a lot of thought put behind what is done and purpose, which I love. Two more quick products, Olaplex. I've heard about Olaplex and I've read a little bit about the founder and I guess they don't advertise anywhere. I guess it's just a social media thing. And I went ahead and tried it because I saw it on Sephora and I just wanted to see what it could do. This is a take home version. I know there are salon versions or professional versions, but it is not a conditioner. It's a bond builder. You use it before shampooing and use it one time a week or two to three times for more damaged hair. You apply it on damp hair, you leave it in for at least 10 minutes, and then you follow up with shampoo and conditioner. And then it just leaves your hair really strong feeling. If my hair ever feels unhealthy, it's because it's dry and it's like stiff and crunchy. My hair has come quite a long way since about a year and a half whenever I started doing this. And I wanna try and keep it as healthy as possible. It's pretty long. You don't see it much now anymore because I wear it up because I've gotten feedback people can't see my face when my hair is in it, which makes sense. So I've been wearing it up, but I also realized it's a lot easier to wear it like this in a video because it's not falling in my face or some random stray hair isn't falling, except for these little koala bear hairs. They look like the fur on the ears of a koala where they stick out like this. That's what happens here. Although I did order a product that should take care of it. It looks like a deodorant stick where you just slick it back. Hopefully that will work. But this is pretty amazing. I just tried it that one time and found results really quickly and really impressive. Somehow the person who created this is related to the family that made the Alterna product. Maybe it's part of that family. I use the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Shampoo and Conditioner, which has given me results like nothing else in terms of shampoo and conditioner. I thought they were just there to kind of wash your hair and then soften it, but this really does something to my hair to make it much more youthful looking. And I've been using the Replenishing Moisture Milk. I purchased this this month. After I shampoo and condition, towel dry, I add three pumps of this into my hair, just let it stay there. Then I get up in the morning, add three more pumps, put it in a bun, put a shower cap on, and then when I'm done with my shower, it's pretty much ready to go for the day. It's not perfect, but it definitely is more presentable than it could be. So this is really helping to kind of keep those ends more moisturized. That's where I have, if I have any problems, it's on the ends because they are a little bit drier and they can appear a little bit frizzy. So this definitely helps with that. Speaking of hair, if you wanna see what it looks like down, I'll be posting a video on Monday where my hair is down and you can just kind of take a look at it there and see how far it's come since a year and a half ago. That's the list for February and that's why I wanna double up on videos as much this month so you can see the products in a timely manner to make some decisions if you're waiting to see if you would like a product or not. For the most part though, the items that I just showed you are all really great, but I wanna be able to show you them in action to show you how to use them and then maybe compare it to your skin tone to see if they'll work for you or not. So if you have any favorites you think I should know about, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about them. Also style favorites, please leave those for me. I do pick up some items during the month that have to do with style and clothing. Like I found some really great perforated, what are they called? They're not sneakers, but they are like, a, they're kind of like a blend between loafers and sneakers, but they're really practical. I know that doesn't sound very exciting, but that's what I like. I like really, really comfortable and stylish pieces that are staples that go with a lot of different things. For instance, I found some Vince t-shirts that are really nice. So if you wanna know about those things, let me know. I do have a plan to save up for a few key pieces that will elevate those basic pieces. I have about three of those on my list right now and those are kind of long-term goals, but otherwise I do find things like great camisoles, great t-shirts, and great shoes along the way. And oh, I found this cute little um, straw bag that I featured on Instagram as well that I think is great for vacation. So let me know, happy to include those things. Or if you don't care, let me know too. I don't have to include them. Thank you so much if you have already subscribed and if you haven't already and you'd like to, I'd also appreciate that. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Again, something I'll take on we, on we. From Tom something. Ford, the limited edition shade on the Enumulate. Hi, and thanks so much for joining.